St. Louis teens are charged after police say one lost control while drag racing down a busy South County road Friday morning. The crash killing one man and seriously injuring another. Fox 2's Max Deep Knight joins us off South Broadway where neighbors describe a horrific crash scene. Max. We're here at the scene of the crash off South Broadway. This is where it happened Friday. You can still see the tire tracks here in front of this business and this large sign knocked down after police say one of those teens lost control while drag racing and hit and killed a man here. It happened here in front of Rediscover Antiques off South Broadway. Police say 34 year old Christopher Johnson was hit and killed Friday and one of his fellow construction workers, 58 year old Carl Cease, injured neighbors say the two were they're working on replacing an awning that had been hit earlier this year by another erratic driver they say around 10 30 a.m a cadillac headed north on broadway lost control and hit the two men johnson died on scene take a look at these photos and videos from friday's deadly crash the man who owns the business next door shared these with us he says he could hear the impact from inside of his building and that he and others actually helped stop the other teen driver from fleeing the scene. I'm really sorry for these guys, you know, because it's like a routine their job, you know, they come probably hour, two hour of work, you know, finish this one and then go. And but you see what's happened. 18 year olds DeAndre Robinson and Patrick Ayton, both of St. Louis, are charged with first degree involuntary manslaughter and second degree assault. Police say Robinson was the one driving that Cadillac that lost control. He's also charged with driving without a valid driver's license. Bikarov has a message for the teens. They think they know everything. No, they don't know nothing, you know. So they need a, they need a big caution to driving the streets, not racing on a public streets, you know, go on a racetrack and do whatever you want to do, you know, so not here. Both teens are being held in the St. Louis County Jail on a $150,000 cash only bond. Reporting in South County, Max Deaknight, Fox 2 News.